Hello everyone and welcome back to Glenathan. In this video we are going to focus on repurposing our two arable fields and that means mulching, cultivating, fertilizing, drilling and rolling those fields but not necessarily in that order so stick with me until the end to see if we manage to accomplish all of that. But before we move to field work let's go and sell some milk because we are in September and the price for milk is the best in September and i've checked before starting recording this and the best price is at the dairy and i know exactly what that is because we went there in the past so i'll see you at the dairy i almost made it the dairy is just over here in the yard toward to our right so let's see how much money we are able to make for 10,000 liters of milk also after this i'll go back to the farm and grab the milk that is still in the cow barn collecting point i think should be around 4000 liters more milk in there and i'm going to also sell those okay so we made over 21,000 or 10,000 liters of milk it's not bad at all so let's go grab the other 4000 and i'll see you back okay we are almost back with the second load of milk uh, we had 4,000 liters more milk in the storage point at the farm and I'm going to sell those also. Also, I don't know what happens, but uh, my game is lagging horribly, so I may have to restart it or something because I don't know what's happening. It didn't used to do this in the, in the past. I mean, in the last episode, it, I didn't had these problems but yeah i don't know also i forgot to mention that all the bales the straw bales that we created in the previous episode are now collected and stored in our bale shed so let's get back to the farm to leave the milk trailer and then we can go to the store to to buy a slurry spreader because the first thing that we are going to do to our fears fields is spray them with slurry okay everyone so we are now almost at the store i had to restart the game i don't know what's happening uh, it was lagging like crazy it never did that before but i don't know i don't know maybe i need to change my my pc but never mind now seems to be fine we need to buy a slurry spreader let's check the used machinery store and see if we have something well we have this manure spreader we have manure but i don't know it requires 200 horsepower it's a little bigger than what i would have liked because we also have hills in our fields and we need something that our tractor can pull so let's see what we can buy from the slurry spreader category uh, we have this marshall for 14k with a 11 meter spreading width we have this one for uh, i don't know if it's 13.5 meters or 7.5 to 10 meters i don't know we have also this flegel and we have also this lizard over here with a bigger capacity but a smaller spreading width i think i'm going to go for this this flegel wheels will set up i'm going to keep it as standard the bar yeah let's leave it there we need to leave the fenders and the color let's go for black for wheel color it doesn't change the price so it's okay and it's a 10,000 liter and a 10 meter spreading with slurry spreader so let's grab it apparently i turned off the engine of the tractor i don't know why i did that uh, so yeah let's grab this let's get it field and start spreading some slurry on our fields it will be cheaper to do it this way than to than to buy fertilizer because our cows are producing slurry and manure so why not use it i mean we have it it's there i can i was also thinking about using the slurry or the manure to produce liquid or solid fertilizer but i haven't checked the mod hub to see what kind of productions we have in this sense so for now i'm gonna just spray them on our field it should give us a uh, first application of fertilizer uh, but let me see i think this is the point when where we can refill with slurry i'm guessing let's see yeah
Okay, the first field should be done. Let's check to see if it works. We should now have the first stage of fertilizer done on field number 29. And as you can see, the field is fertilized. Now we need to move to field 34 to do the same thing. Clary spreading is now almost complete. This is the last strip. Actually, after finishing this, I want to check how much slurry did we use. I think it was five loads. Let's go to the animal page and to the cows and see how we have, well, 13, 14,000 liters of plus slurry left. So it's one full tanker load and something. So we used, I think, around uh, 50,000 liters of slurry so yeah it was five loads but all uh, both our fields are now in the first fertilizing stage now it's time to put this slurry spreader in a shed and move to the next job which will be mulching uh, probably you are wondering why I bother mulching this, the fields well mulching gives us an yield increase it's true that it's only 2.5 percent yield increase but combined with the rolling uh, in total we get five percent yield increase and if we can do it why not it doesn't take that much time and it's let's say a straightforward and as easy as it can be job so why not do it we have our own mulcher, so yeah. I mean, why not? If we didn't have the equip equipment and we had to lease it or buy it every time or something, yeah, then maybe for 2.5% is not worth it. But having the mulcher, why not? Also, I'm thinking about uh, maybe replacing the drill that uh, that i'm having i'm thinking about getting a bigger one that's because uh, we have the money and why not but let's uh, first of all get that i'll as usual put some music on and let's finish 
both our fields and that will come back after. Mulching is now complete. While I was doing this, actually I had an idea, but uh, I'm not sure that it's going to work. I've been playing Farming Simulator 22 since it was released, I think, three years ago. Uh, and I don't remember trying out this. But uh, yeah, why not? Let's go put this mulcher in the shed. And, uh, and let's try it. Maybe it will if it will work. If it will work, it will save me some money. If it doesn't, well, it doesn't. It is what it is. Uh, what's this about? Well, my idea is like this: we spread slurry in the before we mulched the the fields. Now I'm thinking that uh, if we spread manure with a manure spreader it should give us the second fertilizing state but uh, i've never tried this so yeah i don't know i'm not sure if this will work but uh, let's try it let's go to the shop uh, let's buy a manure spreader we had one in the sale earlier i'll take a look at it but i think that one is a little bit too big from for my tractor but uh, yeah let's take a look at that one and if it's too big i'll see what other kind of manure spreaders i have installed i'm not sure that i have any but okay so yeah we have this samson flex 23 but it requires 200 horsepower so it's a little bit big for what tractor i have right now uh, let's take a look under manure spreaders and see what else do we have. 
So we have this one, but it spreads only at 6.5 meters. And if it works, it will take a while. We have this one that spreads, spreads at 8 meters for 70k. We have this one that requires 120 horsepower at spread and spreads at 12 meters. Uh, this one, but no, it spreads at 8 meters. And we have this Anna Burger, which can spread at 15 meters, but I don't know. Ooh, let's see, with extension, uh, with extension, it spreads at 10 meters and it costs 33 grand. Should I buy this one? Yes, let's buy this one. And now let's go get some manure. I don't know if I will have enough manure to spread on both fields. That's another story. And I don't know if uh, spreading manure will give me the next fertilizing state. We'll have to see. But uh, yeah, I have I had an idea. Let's test it. If it doesn't work, I'll just keep the manure spreader for next time. I don't think it will going. It's going to be a next time in this series, but. Uh, Let's say that I am going to keep it for, for next time and spread manure with it next time. But before we do that, let's test it. I don't know if... Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if I can fill this directly from the manure heap or I need a bucket of some description. Let's, let's also test this. I haven't played around with uh, manure spreaders that much. That's why I don't know... Uh, many things about them but at least it feels directly from here so okay we have 11,000 liters of manure let's go to field 29 and see if it works if it doesn't okay it doesn't i'll just spread chemical fertilizer after the crop will start growing of course also i'll have to probably spray herbicide because i didn't plow the fields before doing anything so yeah but let's see i'm actually hoping this will this will work uh, unfold let's unfold okay apparently it's doing something it's putting something on the ground let's stop it so we won't waste manure and go to the menu and check uh, we need to turn off weeds, we need to turn off rocks, because, okay. Uh, so, I think it's working, I think it's putting down the second stage of fertilizer. Okay. I'm happy. So, let's put some music on and let's spread the manure.
the manure spreading is now complete and I'm very glad that my idea worked and we now should have at least both our fields fully fertilized. Yes, they are. I didn't expect it actually to work. I know that mulching changes the ground state, but uh, yeah, still, it was, a, it was a pretty big surprise for me. But yeah, I'm glad it worked and from now on we know that if we spread slurry then we mulch and then we try to spread manure it works and puts down both fertilizing states. Let's put this manure spreader in the shed over here next to the slurry tanker and then I can go get the cultivator and we can go cultivate the two fields. Actually, yes. Let's go cultivate. I was thinking that if I change the drill... Uh, where's my cultivator? That's another good, good question. I think it's in the shed where the combine harvester is, just to the right over here. Yes, there it is. Uh, I was saying that uh, I was thinking if I can change the drill, maybe I can get a direct drill, but looking at the 12,000 that I have in the bank right now, I don't think I'll have enough money to to change the drill. We'll, we'll have to see. It will... Actually, we don't have to see. Let's take a look right now. In the sale, we don't have anything. And if we go to... Where's the cedars? Here. Cedars. Uh, we now have this Massey Ferguson. The 4 meter Massey Ferguson. The next be best thing is this Jill Ersem 6040 for 17k. And we don't have 70k. So yeah, I'm not changing the drill. I'll use, uh, I'll use the 4 meter one. It will take a little bit more time, but... Uh, okay. It's not a problem. So right now let's focus on cultivating these two fields. This shouldn't take too much time because our cultivator is pretty big. <laughs> Okay everyone, cultivating is almost finished. 
doing the testing on the slurry and the manure, I didn't notice how fast the time passed. I just noticed the recording time right now. So I'm gonna end this episode here. I really enjoyed testing my theory with the slurry and the manure. I hope you also did. If you did, please give me a like. If you want to watch more of my videos, subscribe to the channel. And in the end, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.